Hurry outside of 2023 Northwest 3rd Terrace. This is in the Northwest Cape Coral area. Excellent location. And this is today's deal of the day. Uh, what we call a semi-heavy to little on the low side of heavy trash out. Uh, we definitely are going to need a dumpster to empty this place out. And uh, with today's house is a pool home on a freshwater canal. If I show you the neighborhood, you got a big beautiful house to the left of you. Uh, you can see it's all brand new homes up here. Beautiful large home right across the street. Uh, you're close to everything here. A lot of big homes in the area as you see coming into view. So location is really spectacular. A lot of homes with tile roofs. So uh, pretty much couldn't get a better location. If you Google map this, you'll find out how close you are to everything. And uh, let's take a walk inside. Landscaping, we're in rainy season, but uh, still the yard could use uh, some weed and feed. Looks like the previous owners started cleaning stuff out already, but they sure left a ton of stuff inside. Home has a newer roof. By the way, I'll put the stats on the screen. There you go. So, this is an extremely good selling house in the day. As you go up to the garage, before we go inside, I'll stop on the side and show you that your AC and water equipment are all intact, however, very overgrown. So you're going to have to do some bushwhacking. Coming inside, that's what's inside. Um, there's a smell in the garage. We believe it's coming from the fridge. Word, word to the wise or a warning, whatever. When you see a refrigerator in, an, in a house that is a foreclosure and the power's been off for a long time, what's inside that fridge is never good. So... Don't open the fridge, It's my advice. Air handler in good shape, garage, uh, hurricane strength garage door. Water here in good shape, electrical panel in good shape. Uh, steel front door that comes with the uh, glass front door. Just general trash here. Old table, chairs, more garbage. Bunch of leftover kid toys, old battery weights. As we come in the front here, we can see this uh, threshold here needs a little bit of work. No big deal. Uh, it is wired for a garage door opener. I never actually installed the garage door opener. Coming into the kitchen, just a lot of stuff left behind. I'll pause here and take a look, left, look to my left. There is a washer and dryer here. And a lot of garbage in here. This closet just filled with a bunch of old stuff. Some old kids' toys, games, things like that, and just general garbage. Coming over here, uh, most pause of the island here. You can see the dishwasher's in shape. Uh, it does have the reverse osmosis system, and uh, everything checked out great. No Chinese. I don't know if this will show, but you can see that the uh, shutoff valves are brand, like gorgeous. We check wiring throughout the house. No signs of Chinese whatsoever. I don't know if this will pick it up or not, but uh, everything looks real, real good inside there. And uh, just a lot of general garbage. There's the rest of the kitchen over here. Stove will clean up, microwave will clean up, dishwasher will clean up. Cupboards are raised panel cabinets, which is kind of nice. More stuff in this cupboard here. And just generally garbage everywhere. So uh, the refrigerator has been taken. It's about the only appliance missing. Pantry over here, also loaded with garbage, some old food. Uh, while we're here, we'll step into the master bedroom. Carpet definitely needs to be replaced, but we do have raised panel doors throughout the home. Hardware is in good shape. Master bedroom never had a ceiling fan, but is kept and ready for it. And just general trash out in here. This kind of stuff that we always just throw away. Master bath will clean up nicely. As you can see here, old towel, just some old garbage again. Uh, a lot of dust here. And uh, in our master walk in closet, more junk. We do see some mold coming along the bottom down here, going all the way over to that corner. Uh, so, don't know if somebody spilled something in here. But uh, I believe it's a very simple fix. It looks like just some mild surface mold. It should clean up. Coming over here. 
We do have a hole in the drywall right here. It's the only drywall hole we could find. Looking at our living room. Uh, old dresser here. Some general garbage down here. Old chair here. Window coverings are not in the best of shape. Old chair here. And these are all our plugs that we pulled when we were doing our Chinese drywall checking and everything looked good. It's also a first home and first homes we're pretty much good for not having Chinese drywall. I really don't have problems with first home. Now I'll give you a nice full camera span here, going nice and slow. So you can see how the living room looks. Soaring vaulted ceilings, plant shelves, missing ceiling fan there. We do, however, have the recessed light here over the front door. There is a recessed lighting in the kitchen. So basically just some lights and fans. We come down the hallway here. Uh, looks like some dog poop in the hallway here. Small closet here, not a whole lot to clean out in there. Missing ceiling fan in this guest bedroom here. Here's some garbage in here. And the camera to the right. But for those of you that are used to these types of videos, this will all clean up very nicely. So no broken windows, which is great. Also, I, did, I thought I saw a full complement of uh, hurricane shutters out in the garage. There's one. Up, there's the missing door for right here. Do have a ding right here that has to be fixed from uh, this doorknob hitting, but that's easy. Definitely new carpet. Coming down the hall here to our guest bath. You can see that uh, again heavy trash out, but uh, nice cabinetry. Yeah, they moved out and just left a lot of junk in here. But the uh, tub is all, all clean up very nicely. Looking in this guest bedroom here. Again, just some garbage. Old bed frame left behind. Old poster on the wall. No ceiling fan ever put in here, but it's capped and ready for it. Old little dresser over here. Just general garbage in this closet as well. Then uh, the main feature that really brings this house together nicely is out here. Oh, by the way, a big pile of garbage over here as well. Forgot to point that out. Uh, here we have an under trestle and I, which will pressure wash up very nicely, fully screened in. And this is a pool home. It's a small pool, but still a, a full pool. Um, this is what, what's considered a small pool down here. It, it's plenty good enough to swim in, but it's, you know, far from a lap pool. However, it's got nice brick edging around it. Uh, I can see down a few inches that it uh, uh, appears to have a good finish on it. The house is newer, so we shouldn't have any problems once we uh, drain and acid wash this. And uh, there's an old grill over there to the side coming into view. Most of the screening is in good condition here. So I think this will all pressure wash up and clean up very nicely. So... And another big plus here as we come up to ledge here is this is on a freshwater canal. And it's a very nice freshwater canal and has full seawall. Not all your freshwater canal homes have a full seawall. And uh, this is a navigable canal. There is boating that you can do on these canals. You get a small pontoon boat. And there's uh, several miles that you can go on these canals here, which is really, really a nice plus. You can also fish out there. So pretty cool. So. And then uh, on the uh, outside of the house, just a lot of overgrown trees that have to get whacked back. The yard appears to be in decent shape. So overall, this is a fairly easy fix. It, I know it looks like a lot of stuff here in the video, but honestly, it's not bad. So if you'd be interested in finding houses like this as they become available, subscribe to my YouTube video series uh, and uh, send me an email. And we'll be happy to set you up with a list. My name is Dave Detman of Remax Edge House Flippers. Look forward to seeing you in future videos. You take care and God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.